from best-selling author Sylvia Day comes a passionate new love story. Butterfly in Frost is officially out now, and joining us now with a little more on this new romance novel is best-selling author and Las Vegas resident, we should add, Sylvia Day herself. Good morning. Good morning. So although you are a, a Vegas gal, you're uh, a little bit chilly in New York City this morning because it is in the 70s. That is correct. Yes, <laughs> I'm very definitely acclimated to our Vegas weather. Oh, it's a beautiful place to it. live. Hey, congratulations on it this is. new novel. Uh, wow. Thank Th you. This is incredible. Uh, let's talk about uh, what the theme of this book is, and then I'd love to jump in and talk about the main characters as well. Sure. So Butterfly and Frost introduces my readers to new characters. Um, Dr. Tegan Ransom, we quickly discover, suffers from depression, which for her can sometimes be debilitating. So she's kind of adjusted her entire life to manage this. And for her, that means creating kind of a safe space for herself. She's withdrawn. Um, she's like serene in her own place. So when she gets a new neighbor next door, Garrett Frost, this artist who paints to loud music, who's <laughs> passionate about life, who's kind of, you know, tackling everything with both hands, she's not exactly thrilled um, to have her tranquility so kind of rudely stomped upon. But on the other hand, she recognizes in him kind of this, this kindred spirit, somebody who also is wounded in some way. Wow. And so they, they form a connection, you know, on, the, on this mutual sense that they're both recovering from something. Wow, very interesting. Uh, what, what inspires you to create uh, this storyline? I know you're just coming off so much rapid success from the Crossfire series. Um, you, you put out how many books in, in a very short amount of years? Four or five books, I believe, in a row. Yeah, so the Crossfire Saga was five novels, and they came out in a four-year span, um, almost exactly four years to the day. That, that was tough, and they were very long books. Mm -hmm. um, they're pretty thick-spined books, so that, that was tough. Yeah, I, so I took a, a three-year break after that before <laughs> writing this one. The inspiration for this one, I mean, you will see some Crossfire characters in Butterfly and Frost, even though this is a standalone <gasps> book. So Crossfire series readers will get, you know, glimpses of friends and, you know, some updates on what's going on with them, even though this is a brand new story. Uh, but, it, you know, it's introducing readers to new characters is fun. You know, we've got all new problems to deal with, all new um, locales to take you to. And, uh, you know, I, I want to show you different things. I want to, I want to introduce you to new people. Absolutely. You know, after that Crossfire series, and congrats for putting out, um, you know, that much literature at one time. It's incredible. But you, you really gained a, a massive fan base around those books. So I know that people are really hungry for this book as well. What has it been like? I know today you're no in pressure, New York right? City. I know, no pressure. I know. I, that's the thing about you have some success, but then it ups the pressure, doesn't it? But what, what, what do fans say to you when, when they meet you? Uh, what took you so long? <laughs> Can you write faster? Um, and then there's a lot of questions about what they didn't see. You know, where are they now? You know, what's happening? And I tell readers, you know, if you didn't see it in the book, I'm not going to tell you. Because it doesn't mean you're not going to see it in a future book. Just mm -hmm. because, you know, you haven't seen it so far, you know, I still want you to experience it through the novel versus me just kind of telling you um, what's happening. So, uh, you know, they have a lot of questions to them, you know, as they are to me, these characters are friends, they're family. We want to know where they're at. We want to know that they're happy. We want to know that life's moving on for them, that they're experiencing milestones that maybe we didn't yep. get to witness the first time. So those questions, are, you know, that we understand them and, and I appreciate that they still care. Well, we appreciate that you've come out with a, another novel, Sylvia. Thank you so much for joining us. Butterfly in Frost by best-selling author. Me. Absolutely. And Vegas resident, we might add, Sylvia Day, is available on her website or Amazon, among other places you'll find the book. Amazon Publishing is a proud sponsor of the Las Vegas Morning Blend.